This is the first video of a three video series on exploiting Mutility with SQL Map. Let's start with our goal and then work out how we got there. Here you can see I've dumped a table of user accounts and passwords from a web application database. From the is admin column, you can see some of these likely have admin level privileges. In addition to accounts, we'll also dump a table of credit card numbers. Next, I will briefly introduce some of the tools we'll be using. The first tool is Mutility, which rhymes with utility, although you may also hear Mutilidae. Mutility is a deliberately vulnerable web application that's useful as a teaching and learning tool for web application security. Mutility also makes a great target for web exploit tools like SQL Map. You may be wondering about the name. Mutility is named after a type of wasp that is sometimes called a velvet ant due to its fuzzy and ant-like appearance. The other main tool we'll be using is SQL Map. SQL Map is an open source tool for exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. It's a powerful tool, but the command line interface and its wide range of options make it a little intimidating to new users. By the end of this series, you'll be comfortable with the basics of SQL Map. The other tools we'll, we'll be using are Kali Linux, VirtualBox, and Docker. I'm using Kali Linux in part because it has SQL Map pre-installed. Note that Kali Linux has new releases every three months so your version may look a little different than the one I'm using. You could use any Linux distro for this demo, so long as you install SQL Map. I'll be running Kali Linux as a virtual machine under VirtualBox. I'm going to assume that viewers have some familiarity with VirtualBox or similar technologies such as VMware Workstation for running virtual machines. I'll be using Docker to run Mutility and Containers on the Kali Linux host. If you've never used Docker before, don't worry. I'll walk you through all the steps needed to get that set up. Let's get started. The first thing I'll do is set up Docker. I'm starting with a fresh Kali installation. This is the third release from 2022. I've increased the font size a little to make it easier to read on YouTube. I'll check to see if Docker is installed using docker dash dash version. Docker is not installed on Kali Linux by default, but the system provides a helpful suggestion. Uh, the default password for the Kali user is Kali. Now that's interesting. What went wrong? It told us what to run to install Docker and it still had an error. In this case, we need to tell Kali to update the package database first. sudo apt update. This will take a minute to run as it retrieves package information. Now that the package database is updated, we can try installing Docker again. I do want to continue. The installation process will take a while. I'll pause the recording a moment while it finishes installing. During the installation, I received this prompt. I don't always receive this prompt when installing Docker but I just wanted to display it here. I'm going to say, okay. And I'll just let it restart packages, uh, restart services during package upgrades. 
I'll pause the video again until it finishes installing. Now that it's installed, I'll check the version again. Great, it's installed successfully. These are all the commands that we ran to get Docker set up. In part two, we'll set up Mutility and demonstrate a SQL injection vulnerability. In part three, we'll use SQL Map to exploit the same vulnerability and demonstrate some of its powerful capabilities. Thanks for watching.